Hi there, I'm here with my cello today playing Cotton Eyed Joe. And uh, this piece has no bow, so I can just, I just took it and set it aside, and I'm done with it for a while. And I'm just going to um, go over a couple of the notes. This piece is like the best for cello and bass because you get to slap your instrument, which we're gonna get to soon. Okay, so I uh, start with high D, rest, open A. into that next line. So I'm going to practice measure four going into five a couple of times. And again. And last time. Rest. I'm going on measure six. into nine sounds like this. Okay. And again. And again. I want to get very comfortable with measures four and eight. And then they come up again, measure 12 and 16. They're very similar. So I want to be very comfortable with those so that I don't get lost or confused. Okay, measure nine, where you see the X, that means you slap. So instead of resting, I get to slap it. All right, that's it. just suddenly came up on you and you had to have your hand here and ready to go on that fourth finger. You don't want to be uh, forgetting about this hand and you're not paying attention and you're just like, oh yeah, I got this. And then all of a sudden there's notes and you, you're not ready. So practice it slowly, go measure 11 and then 12 and be ready for that. Here's 11. a repeat sign. So I need to go back for that. I'm going to practice measure 16 to 1. Practice that over and over. And I'm going to do that again. And here's my last time. Okay, and then at the ending, I'm just going to uh, jump all the way down to the last line. It says number 17. There are four, there's a whole rest. It lasts for four beats. And then measure 18, I have one more rest. So it's going to be a total of five rests. I'm going to count it like this. One, two, three, four, one, A, D. Okay, I'm going to do that one more time. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, now I'm going to run through the whole song, including the repeat and the ending, up to speed. Two, three, four.
listening.